Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ron, and thank you for checking in. Today's video is a quick and dirty video on how to install your FPV props. I'm making this video because as a new FPV flyer myself, installing your props incorrectly is a very common mistake for us FPV, especially new FPV flyers. I made this mistake myself just the other day, and of course my wife was there to support me 100%. She's always so helpful. Here's a few clips from that. Okay, what's the problem? Is there technical, is it technical difficulties or just user? Goggles. What happened? Where you at? Watch those trees. Turn around. This was one of my first flights and a while later I decided against the tether method. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I'm gonna link a previous video that I did over here and you can check that out. Now my wife loves when I include her in my videos. So needless to say, because the props were on wrong, it totally caked my air unit camera on my FPV. It took some major cleaning to get all the dirt off of the lens of the camera. If you've ever installed your props wrong, I'd also love to hear about it in the comments below. It'll make me feel better that I'm not the only one doing this. So let's jump right into this. So first, if you've just bought a new set of props like these, the packages are gonna contain four props in them. Two of them will be clockwise rotating props and the other two will be counterclockwise props. You can't just toss these on any of your motors. Your quad will flip out if it's not mounted correctly. So the first thing you wanna do is identify the top side and the bottom side of your prop. I've got three props we're gonna look at today as examples. The first prop is a Johnny Freestyle prop from Azure Power, and you'll know the top side by the markings on it. You can see the hub has the wording Azure Power engraved into it, and also has some small print on the prop here as well. Now, my eyes aren't the best anymore, so reading what's marked on these props can be really tough without glasses. If you need them, you're gonna to wanna to put them on. The second example I have are some HQ props, which are really hard to see. There's nothing marked on either side of the hub, but on one of the props, you'll see that there's some raised print. I believe it says HQ prop, but again, really hard to see. And again, nothing on the bottom side. And finally, I have a Beta FPV prop for my 95X Whoop. No markings on the bottom side and some raised font on the top side. Now the markings are gonna vary from prop to prop, but just remember the top side of your FPV will always have some sort of markings or identification on it. The bottom side should be completely blank with no markings. Again, it can be very difficult to see without glasses if you need them. Okay, so that's step one. We know the top from the bottom. Now we need to know which way the prop will rotate when mounted. So you'll want to identify the leading edge, which is the higher side on the prop, and the trailing edge, which will be the lower side of the prop. So here's the leading edge, the high side, for the HQ uh, props, and the trailing edge for the low side of the props. Here's the leading edge, high side, for the Johnny Freestyle props, and the trailing edge, or the low side, for the Johnny Freestyle props. And finally, the leading edge or high side for the Beta FPV props, and the trailing edge or the low side for the Beta FPV props. So now we know the leading edge and the trailing edge, and our props will always spin in the direction of the leading edge. So the Johnny Freestyle props will spin in this direction. It's a counterclockwise prop, My HQ prop is a clockwise prop. And my beta FPV prop is a counterclockwise prop. Again, your props are always spinning in the direction of your leading edge. When mounted on my quad, they're gonna look like this. On my Rotor Riot quads, the prop directions are what's called props in. At the front end of my quad, the props are spinning inward toward the frame. However, on my Beta FPV, the props direction is called props out. Again, from the front perspective of the quad, the props are spinning outward away from the frame. Now, you just need to mount the props properly based on which way the motors are spinning. 
if you're not sure which way your motors are spinning, then just connect your quad to Betaflight and spin up the motors to confirm the direction the motors are actually spinning. You just wanna make sure that the props are actually off your quad before you do this, just for safety reasons. It can be tough to actually visually see which way the motors are spinning up. So to help identify the direction of the props, uh, which way they're spinning, just take a small piece of paper or you can put your finger on the motor gently and you'll better feel which way they're spinning. If you use the paper method, you'll see the paper moving in the direction that the motors are actually spinning. This could really help you out. Again, they're hard to see visually. The other thing that will always be true based on the direction of your front prop, the props on the diagonal motor are gonna spin in the same direction. So if my front left prop is always spinning clockwise position, then the diagonal prop is also spinning clockwise. If the right front prop is spinning counterclockwise, then the diagonal prop will also spin counterclockwise as well. I hope this helps a few of you out, as many of us are relatively new to the FPV hobby. And in my opinion, getting the props mounted correctly is probably the biggest mistake many of us are making, including myself, when we're getting started. And I've done it a couple times already. So if you made it this far, I do appreciate it, I do thank you. Now, I'll be doing more FPV tutorials and videos in the near future so that I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. I'm just waiting on an XT30 charging cable for my new Beta FPV 95X quad that I just got. Again, I'd love to hear from you if you've ever installed your props wrong on your FPV quads. It would make me feel a whole lot better knowing that I'm not the only one doing this. And I think it's because I've always been flying the DJI, DJI props, which have very distinct markings for the counterclockwise and the clockwise props with the little white markings on them. And that's really it for this video. If you got any value out of this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It's always appreciated, it really is. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell for future video notifications. So until next time, take care and happy flying. And remember, in 2020, we still got this.